he, was, he will say to them, the blood I shed on Calvary was to purchase you from eternal death and eternal condemnation. But you rejected this precious blood which I shed for you on the cross. This time I'm coming to crush you forever. In the second coming, the Lord will not be Mr. Nice Guy. The first coming, he is the lamb. The second coming, he is the roaring lion. He will come to judge. And the judgment of the Lord Jesus, no one can come out of it in one piece. And on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He had a name written that no one knew except himself. See, the Lord Jesus, on his second coming, humanity would have denied him. And those who walk, walked away from the Lord and denied the Lord, his name will be unknown to them. His name will be unknown to them. But here in this verse, it doesn't say what that name is. But we can gather that this name will be the conqueror. The one who will conquer every nation, every tongue, and every knee will, be, will kneel before him. Only he knew this name. Christ on the second coming will be the conqueror forever. In the first coming, he conquered over those who accepted him as Lord and Savior. Not the whole world accepted him. Only those who accepted him, he conquered over them. But in the second coming, those who accept him or not, he will conquer over every single human being. So maybe this name that is only known to him, it may be the conqueror in his second coming. Why are you so quiet? Are you with me? That's good. Verse 13. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood. Now, this blood is not his blood. This blood is the blood of those who have rejected him. This is the second coming. He is coming to judge. So this blood is the blood of those who have rejected him. And then also, the blood that he shed on Calvary will be that witness to everyone who has rejected the Lord Jesus. He, was, he will say to them, the blood I shed on Calvary was to purchase you from eternal death and eternal condemnation. But you rejected this precious blood which I shed for you on the cross, this time I'm coming to crush you forever. In the second coming, the Lord will not be Mr. Nice Guy. The first coming, he is the lamb. The second coming, he is the roaring lion. He will come to judge. And the judgment of the Lord Jesus No one can come out of it in one piece. If I stand before the Lord and say the Lord is judging me, I cannot say I am innocent. Because the Lord will reveal my entire life from day one till the last day. And he will show me every single place where I have denied him. No one can get away from the judgment of the Lord Jesus. So when the Lord comes to judge, his his rope will be dipped in blood because blood means they will all die when God judges. Because nobody comes out innocent from the court room of the, of the Lord Jesus. Everyone will be found guilty because everyone broke God's word and everyone is a sinner. This is why the Lord came in his first coming to give us the chance not to end up in his judgment on his second coming for as long as we live in the flesh in the flesh 
we still have the chance and the time to come back and repent. The moment we repent from our wrongdoings, we are saved. The Lord will wash us clean with His own blood. If we do not receive the blood of the Lamb of God now, we will receive our own blood upon ourselves in the second coming. So which one do you wish to receive? The blood of the Lamb for your salvation or your blood for your destruction? It's entirely up to us. Entirely up to us, my beloved. Entirely up to us. So his robe will be dipped in blood. That is the judgment of those who have rejected him. And his name is called the Word of God. The Word of God, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And he's called the Word of God, meaning his Word will judge. And the Lord Jesus said it. He said, I will not judge you. The Word I spoke to you will judge you in the end. My word will judge you. I spoke. If you believe in my word and receive my word, you'll be saved. But if you reject my word, my word will come back and judge you. I am fair. I'm not harsh. I'm not coming to kill. But my word naturally does this. My word in its core is salvation. But at the same time, my word is law. So if you break the law, the law will judge you. But if you abide by the law, the law will save you. True or not? If I'm driving in a 60 zone and I'm doing 59, I cannot be judged. But if I'm doing 80 or 90 or 100 in a 60 zone, that same law that saved me from being booked and fined delivered me. I was safe and sound and I saw the copper on the side of the road with his radar pointing at my car and I said, hello, ha. brother, I'm doing 59 in a 60 zone. Da -na 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 -na. You cannot book me. But if I'm doing, if I'm speeding, I'm in deep trouble. The word, that is the natural thing the word does. You abide by the word, you're saved. You disrespect and go against the word, you're judged. And that's why he's called the word of God. Because the word will judge those who will reject the word. Verse 14, and the armies in heaven clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. The armies in heaven are the saints. All the saints will come also dressed up in linen, white and clean. Why they are white and clean? Because the blood of the Lamb of God made them whiter than snow. Whiter than snow. We read earlier in the book of Revelation, John the Beloved saw these people coming from the Great Tribulation. They were martyred through, during the Great Tribulation. He said, who are these dressed up in white? The angel said to John the Beloved, these are the ones who have been dipped in the blood of the Lamb of God and being made white. They were dipped in red blood, came out whiter than snow because the blood of the Lamb of God cleanses you and makes you whiter than snow. My beloved, all those who are dressed up in linen and on white horses are the saints they are white and clean because they accepted the sacrificial lamb of God as their Lord and Savior. His blood made them whiter than snow and perfect clean without a blemish, without a stain because of the lamb of God shedding his blood on Calvary.